Right, so as you can see, if you've been watching these videos, are getting quite noisy. This is kind of very kind of left brain thinking. Uh, this is my kind of vision. This is where we're going. This is a strategy based on my kind of left brain thinking. And right brain thinking processes the body and information. And what I really want to talk about today is uh, this model here. It's called the Triangle of Self Obsession. It comes from Narcotics Anonymous literature. And what they talk about is uh, being in the present, the past, and uh, the future, and how we get angry in the present because we're resentful of the past and we're fearful of the future. So based on my past experience and thinking, when I go out into the world with my obsessive mind, that now that I've found my kokorozashi, and I go and try and execute this, my state of being and my state of thinking can get caught up in the real kind of obsession. I can get very kind of fear-based. Am I going to be able to achieve it? I'm going to get angry because things aren't going my way. And then I'm going to get resentful and possibly have self-pity because things haven't worked out in the past. So the idea is that when I can spot where I am in this and I'm feeling angry, I can turn that into love, mainly love of myself. Like, it's okay, David, uh, relax, don't be so hard on yourself, be gentle, it's, uh, it's all right. Uh, just because a lot of shit has happened in the past, you've got some acceptance around it, you've learned from it now, and if you keep moving forward in a state of faith, it's going to be all right. And being in faith is about doing the right kind of things. And when I'm like in a state of loving in the present, I'm accepting of the past, and I have faith around the future, I should experience a sense of serenity. And when I'm in a space of serenity, I'm not traumatized, I'm not triggered, I'm able to respond to this situation in a much healthier, less obsessive, fear-based way. So the Triangle of Self-Obsession has been a great model to help me get present, to scan where, where, what my body is feeling, what my thinking is, and to try and get some clarity and to calm and still the mind. You know, so when I get involved into a new relationship, because I've got some acceptance about my past relationships, I'm not so fearful about the future and I have faith. And um, I think with addiction, because of the consequences of the, the addiction and the downward, spread, uh, downward trend, uh, addicts experience a lot of trauma from their past and then they're very fearful of the future and that keeps them crippled in the present. So, so, so really love yourself, forgive yourself, work on yourself, do what you need to do to be nice to you. Get some acceptance around the past and move on with faith. There was a great saying that uh, Dave Fiddler said to me once. He said, uh, God didn't save you from drowning to beat you up on the beach. Thank you.